high in the morning. What will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor? Heard I in the morning. Way hey, up she rises. Way hey, up she rises. Way hey, up she rises. Heard I in the morning. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Heard I in the morning. Way hey, up she rises. Way hey, up she rises. Way hey, up she rises. Heard I in the morning. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Heard I in the morning. Way up she rises. Way up she rises. Way up she rises. Heard I in the morning. Drunken sailor, what will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor? Heard I in the morning. Way hey, up she rises. Way hey, up she rises. Way hey, up she rises. Heard I in the morning. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Heard I in the morning. Way hey, up she rises. Way hey, up she rises. Way hey, up she rises. Heard I in the morning. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Heard I in the morning. Way up she rises. Way up she rises. Way up she rises. Heard I in the morning. Drunken sailor, what will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor? Heard I in the morning. Way hey, up she rises. Way hey, up she rises. Way hey, up she rises. Heard I in the morning. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Heard I in the morning. Way hey, up she rises. Way hey, up she rises. Way hey, up she rises. Heard I in the morning. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Heard I in the morning. Way up she rises. Way up she rises. Way up she rises. Heard I in the morning. Drunken sailor, what will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor? Heard I in the morning. Way hey, up she rises. Way hey, up she rises. Way hey, up she rises. Heard I in the morning. 
Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Bird eye in the morning. Wait, hey, up she rises. Wait, hey, up she rises. Wait, hey, up she rises. Bird eye in the morning. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Bird eye in the morning. Wait, up she rises. Wait, up she rises. Wait, up she rises. Bird eye in the morning. Drunken sailor, what will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor? Bird eye in the morning. Way head up she rises. Way head up she rises. Way head up she rises. Bird eye in the morning. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Bird eye in the morning. Way head up she rises. Way head up she rises. Way head up she rises. Bird eye in the morning. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Bird eye in the morning. Wait up, she rises. Wait up, she rises. Wait up, she rises. Bird eye in the morning. Oh, it probably works better. Ahoy again. I didn't turn on my microphone because hashtag pro streamer. Hashtag pro streamer. How's everyone doing today on this glorious Sunday afternoon or morning or evening or whatever time it may be for you? According to where you're located in this fabulous world we have, how is everyone doing? I hope fantastic. Because everything is awesome. Mm. As always, we have some fantastic high quality coffee with some high quality H2O. Teal, ahoy! How are you doing? How is your day going? Well, your day is probably a lot further along than mine because of the the time difference going on. How are you doing? I hope you're doing a fantastic, fantabulous. What have you been up to today? I hope some spectacular things you've been doing today. You've probably been playing some video games shirtless because that's what you do. Especially when you're over there playing with Cerise. Arr, matey. How you doing, Owen? Other projects? What kind of other projects are we talking about, Tio?
very little, doing nothing at all. But you're doing something because you're here, Owen. So you're watching me, so that's something. Eighty-three. That's kind of that's kind of hot to be inside a where you live. Don't you have like air conditioning or something, or open some windows with some fans, get like a breeze or something? Is uh. Is air conditioning, like, common over there, like it is in the U.S.? And no A.C. usually, huh? One tiny-ass window. Well, Owen, you know, it's always worth the ask, okay? You know, you never know until you ask, Owen. You never know until you ask, because uh, I'll tell you what, around here, because getting the AC and heat in the shop here was by far the best thing I ever did for my workshop. The best thing I have ever done for my workshop. Because winter, it gets cold, I'd be bundled up. It wasn't very comfortable, and in the summer, I mean, even with doors and windows open and fans going, it would just, it would be unbearable. I'd be out here for like maybe an hour or two and that would be it. Okay, maybe you have a point, Owen, okay? Maybe you know more than I do about the geography of where people live and the weathers, okay, Owen? Just show off all your knowledge. You're just so smart. God. These people in the UK always showing off their smarts. Man. Yeah, some people, that's right. Some people. Uh, first they show off that they're superior using the skew than most people. Then they want to show off that they know more geography and where people live type knowledge. Ugh. Man. Some people. Sounds like a permanent ban is coming along for some people. Ugh. <laughs> no, Owen, I wouldn't let you do that. You might be a workaholic. That's one hell of a tool belt concept, Teal. Hello, Jack. Hello, Poppet. How are you doing? It's long time no see, like maybe a couple minutes ago while I was in your stream. I was actually in your stream while I was starting my stream. It was a streamception almost. Almost. But you won't see no fancy toe shots on my stream like yours, so... You know, hold that against me, Jack. That is perfectly okay, Jack. Yet is the key. Okay, Jack. Okay, Jack. I mean... Ugh. You get some fancy shoes, there we go. My fancy, fancy shoes, that's about, that's about what you're gonna get there, Jack. That's all you're getting right now. That's it, that's as far as we're getting with the, t the fancy toe shots right now, Jack. Get some food, you gotta feed the beast. Feed the beast, i.e. the stomach. The stomach says, I need the food in me. I need food in my belly. Ugh. That, that, I don't know how you do that, Jack. Especially, I mean, even if you had, like, a AC out there, even with the forge going, it would just be counterintuitive 
to, you know, the forge would be heating up, your AC would be trying to cool it down, it would be a never-ending battle of the forces of the heat and the coolness. Because I was just mentioning, getting heat and AC out here in my shop was the best thing I ever did, because it, I mean, even it was, you know, I mean, today, let's see, what's the weather right now outside? So, right now, here outside in Norfolk, Virginia, yeah, there's also that, Jack, the carbon, carbon monoxide. It's a killer. I, uh, Boss Pirate, I said the best thing I ever did for my workshop. Mm, I said in my workshop. I said in the workshop, boss pirate. So right now here, uh, it's 91 outside and it feels like 99 outside right now. That's what it, the outside temperature is right now. And in the workshop, let's look at my fancy little thing over here. It says it's 77 in the workshop right now. 77. So it's not too bad, but there is quite a bit of humidity out, humidity outside uh, in the uh, environments. So not too bad. Not too, too, too bad. But still, I mean, I can deal with heat as long as it's a dry heat. The humid heat, eh. You walk outside and it's instantaneous sweat. Ugh, I don't like it. Instantaneous sweating. I don't like it. Dry heat, I can do that. It can be like 100 outside, but dry heat, I'm good with that. That's okay. I don't miss that, Jack. I don't miss the wall becoming a window due to the simple fact that that cost me a small fortune to fix and redo that wall. Um, so that I don't miss because that was one heck of a undertaking. Because that was right at when those wood prices were just skyrocketing. Well, I didn't do it all myself. I did have, I had friends over helping with it. It was a big project. They were helping with it. Uh, uh, so I did have help from friends, but I didn't hire anybody. So there's that. Um, I did have friends over to help do some demolition and stuff because we had to do it in sections. Cause I mean, that's just a small portion of the wall. I mean, it's, it's a 40 foot wall that I had to replace all the way down. So we had to lift up the roof with uh, jacks and four by fours in sections and do it in sections all the way down and reframe the whole thing and do all, all the, all that was involved with that. So we had to do it in sections, jack it up a little bit of time, you know, put the, the studs in, move down, jack it up. So, I mean, we got it done pretty darn quick too. I mean, if I was to hire a company to do it, they would have probably, you know, they'd have come down and quote and do demolition, you know, the rebuild would cost me probably three times as much, especially with the wood prices when they, uh, they were, uh, when I had to do that. But I mean, I did have two windows on that wall that, uh, I did not replace, but just because the wall went up quicker without framing for windows and windows would have added even more cost. Plus it gave me more wall space. Because right there, uh, where my little French cleat thing is, with the little sign that Cerise made me, the little painting that she does, right there was a window. Uh, so, I mean, I would have, I, I gained some wall space. Because I'm, I'm running out of floor space, so I'm moving stuff, you know, making stuff for the wall to hang up and, you know, get organized. And, you know, that's why we're making the flip cart get more organized, make some room for some, to move some stuff around, because as I get more stuff and bigger stuff, I gotta make more room.
I mean, you could also just uh, frame out the inside of the window. Yeah, just frame out the inside of the window, you know, and inset it and put a couple little cross pieces and put a piece of wood over it. And then there you go. You have a, a spot to uh, uh, put some stuff on, to hang some stuff on the wall. There's not an option. You don't have to like totally get rid of it. So, you know, maybe if you move or in the future, if you don't like it anymore, you can just simply take it out. So there's that option as well. That way you totally don't lose it. It's always there. It's just behind the way you framed it out. Because, I mean, from what I can tell from your streams, it's not that big of a window. So, I mean, maybe a two by four or two and frame it out and, you know, put a couple of little concrete screws in and or some lag bolts or whatever and just put a piece of plywood over it. You probably have a piece of scrap laying around that's just big enough for that. And then maybe it'll make a little little French cleat area right there and then uh, uh, get a little more organization going on. Because I know your shop is quite small. Um, I don't know how you do it there, Owen. Your, your, your space is like, just like so small. Because I know if I had that space with all this stuff, there, there'd be no, there'd be no uh, area. Okay, so it's bigger than it looks, but still, I mean, if you did frame it out. So, I mean, if you did frame it out, that'd be a good area to put maybe a, a French cleat area, a French cleat wall area, and uh, hang some stuff up, you know? Always an option. Always an option. Because, I mean, as you get more tools and upgrade, the tools just get bigger and bigger. You know, you start off small with like little bench top stuff. Yeah, maybe make it a little shallower. That makes sense. I hear, I hear what you're saying, Owen. I pick up what you're laying down, you know? That way, you know, if, because your, your workbench is below your window, right? If I'm not mistaken. Absolutely, Jack. That's always a plus side for having a bigger shop. But it's always nice to have a workbench when you need it, you know. A workbench is always nice to have it when you need it. I mean, little pirate has her little workbench area over here. Um, I got a little bit of a flat surface syndrome going off over there. I got one over there for my uh, uh, lathe area. I got my one workbench in the middle. I got another workbench way over there that y'all really never see on the other part of the workshop um and now when i did do redo that wall i did cut down that workbench because it was super long and all it did was collect things so i did cut that down and that's where a bunch of my uh mo mobile tools live now instead of over here so that was nice um you know to do that uh, so that way they're not just pook it all the way over here everything's just boom it's over there and when I need it, I can just roll it out over here to the main workshop. But I mean, a workbench is, I mean, even though you think you might not need it, it's always nice to have because you never know what kind of projects the future brings, you know? I mean, just take a circular saw to it. I mean, if it's laminar, not just cut it to the size that you want. I mean, if it's too deep, just run your circular saw. Well, the workbenches usually are there, Owen. I mean, if it's uh, too, too deep, just run your circular saw down the front and cut it down, if that's an option. Boom. 
And then if it's, you know, taking up too much, you know, too wide, you know, do the same thing. And then take, reframe it or uh, redo the underbelly a little bit to make it to what you want. That's always an option. I mean, I'm still not reorganized from redoing the wall because that little workbench over there, I just stacked some stuff on top of it and never really did anything with it. So that area over there still needs to be reorganized and uh, gone through and stuff put in homes and organized. Ugh, that hideous organized word. Ugh. Ugh. I just need to get Sasaki and Lettuce out here and they can just organize everything for me. You know? Because we all know those two guys with their organization skills, with their powers combined, they can organize anything. And they... Send them over here. <laughs> I think it's cheaper for them to come to see me than to see you, Owen, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken, but I don't think I am. Because for them to come to see me is far cheaper than the, them to come over there to see you. Yeah, I'm thinking so. I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive on that. Right? I'll just make a big crate, put some holes in it, and just put live cargo on the side. And, you know, they could just, you know, put a, I'll put a bucket in there with, uh, with a big old uh, case of bottled water in there for them and just ship them that way. It'd probably be cheaper. They'd have each other, just, you know, to spend time with and talk to each other, put a deck of cards in there. They can play war. You know, or play some pinochle, whatever they, you know, whatever they decide to do while they're uh, on their transportation over there to you. I mean, that works. We could do that. I mean, by the time they get over there, they might be a little ripe as in, uh, you know, not, you know, been in the same spot and using a bucket for their uh, facilities. So, you know, you'd probably have to let them use your shower right off the bat. You know, there would be that, just saying. So, I mean, I got a pressure wash. <laughs> You're just going to take off a layer of skin with that, huh, Owen? Here, stand over here. Uh, I'm just going to take off your one layer of skin. <laughs> I, I don't think they would like that too much. Not at all. A pressure washer. Oh my goodness. It, re it reminds me of Pulp Fiction with, you know, uh, uh, John Travolta and Samuel L. Jackson are standing outside and, you know, uh, uh, they're getting squirted with the water hose for the shower. That's what that reminds me of. <laughs> <laughs> when Quentin Tarantino is, you know, squirting him with the water hose out there. <laughs> with the cold water hose. Tink! How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Oh, Crushing death and grief. Soaked with blood of the trespassing thief. Inventive Owl, how are you doing? Project Momo, Blue Water, hello everyone. Thank you for following Chuck. Chuck Silver Jewelry, thank you for that. Burn it all down. Raid, 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 raid. All right, Owen, thank you for stopping by. Momo, welcome in everyone. Welcome in Raiders. Y'all are amazing. 29, what were you working on? 
みみみみみー Oh my goodness All the love Thank you, thank you Laser cutting custom buttons Who were the buttons for there, 29? Well, we say hello to you, new friend, Chuck. Welcome in, Raiders. I am Obsessed Pirate. We do stuff in my tiny little workshop here. Not being humble at all. Not being humble at all with my tiny workshop. We just started the stream about 30 minutes. No stuff, only stew bowls. Yes, everything is a stew bowl. Momo, you're right. You're right, Momo. Everything is a stew bowl or stew bowl related. Oh my goodness. You have corrected the pirate. You win, Momo. Momo, 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 Momo. Allie Marie, she does embroidery. She found you through Instagram. Oh, that is awesome. 29, 20, and stew cup. Yep, you can't forget the stew cups, Tink. Well, I'll tell you what. Those custom buttons you do, like especially the ones you did for Breezy Lady Bee, are fantabulous. 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 <laughs> With the voiceover singing, time to do some sketchy junk. I, they look fun to make. It almost, you know. 20, it almost makes me jealous that I don't have something that needs custom 20 buttons. It makes me jealous. I don't know what I would need your custom, you know, buttons for, but I need to find something so I can have some custom 29 Fireflies buttons. I don't know what it would be, but I need to find something that requires buttons. So... I, I'm, I'm gonna have to, we're, yeah, we're gonna have to figure something out. Buttons! Stew bowl buttons! That's right, Momo. You know, and in the buttons you did for uh, Bad Dad, for, uh, you, Bad Dad had some of uh, your buttons on his uh, uh, Snorlax outfit, correct? If I'm not mistaken. Did he not, or were those uh, the buttons you made for Calamity? But still, nonetheless, they were your buttons, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I am wrong. We've been sitting here jibber-jabbering. See? Collab! Sitting here jibber-jabbering for 33 minutes. I'm turning in the lettuce. I, I tell you what, lettuce rubs off on everyone on the jibber jabbering because it's infectious, you know? Because he sits there and he jibber jabbers and does all the jibber jabbering, and you know, it's just infectious. I have not done wood bead bracelets, I have not, Chuck Silver. You jibber jabber there, Teal. And you're back. Scene. Uh, but pr most of the time. <laughs> I, I normally do uh, wood turning. Uh, and uh, chat has deemed everything I do is stew bowl related. It's stew something, stew bowl, stew cup. Even if it's not anything turned, it's stew related. I don't know why they did it, but we're rolling with it because it's what they do. Um, but we uh, yesterday we started on making a flip cart. So today we continue with that because every once in a while I need some new stuff for the shop, for the tools. Yeah, see, Teal, I'm right. Okay, Jack, see, you wanted, you wanted breakfast sausage, now you want stew. 
you can have the bref breakfast sausage in the stew, Jack. You know, boom, 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 boom. Flip stew cart. There we go. Tink has corrected me. There you go. See, Teal's helping you out, Jack. A super silent follow. He's like a ninja. He comes in there all sneaky sneak and he's like, mm, I'll push the follow button. Pushing the follow button. But yes, welcome in. 20, you are simply amazing bringing in all your friends with you. It seems like it's a normal Sunday thing for you. It's becoming our thing. You know, you start in the morning, you start streaming, you do your little laser stuff, and then you come over here and you're like, the pirate's on, we're raiding ham. And that's, it's like a Sunday thing, it's our thing, it's our jam now, almost, as often as you do it. I'm not, I'm not complaining, because I do enjoy you bringing your friends over here, but there's going to have to be a time where I have to return the favor and I raid you 20, because it's not too often that you're on after me because of your schedule and my schedule but this is this is like going to be our jam this we're like you know it's peanut butter and jelly it's our jam or to be peanut butter and jam yeah the schedule the schedule the line we have to bring out our little calendar, you know, write it in, or like the, you know, in the olden days before the uh, calendars and the smartphones. I'll pencil you in, 29. I'm penciling you in right now. Pencil, 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 pencil you in right now. That's what I'm doing. I can't pin you in my calendar because that's permanent. And you never know what's gonna happen. You never know. Uh, that's what happens around here. You step away for just one second, Momo. Chuck Silver, you are just giving everyone the follows. You are amazing. But everyone is amazing. Everything is awesome when you're part of a team. But yesterday, we got all of our pieces cut for our flip card. It is the best community, Momo. Best community. Yesterday, we got all our pieces cut for our flip cart. Today is assembly day. We'll see how far we get today on the assembly of the flip cart. It is simply amazing. Yes. And yes, you got to check out everyone. Thank you for giving the shout outs, Tank. You are a Lord S, Tank. You know, the, the, uh, the Bork Storm, I tried to do the walkthrough that was posted in the uh, Discord, Momo. For the life of me, I couldn't get it to work. I don't know what I'm doing wrong because pirates are not good at the technology of the internet streaming things. I mean, we're lucky enough I have a stream. So, yes, yeah, somebody put a little walkthrough for stream elements, people. So, I did... Uh, I tried to follow it step by step. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Because, like I said, we're lucky I have a stream. Because that's how little I'm good at the, the interweb technology thing. So, I did that, uh, that the little widget on demand type. It was a walkthrough. Somebody, I can't remember who posted it. Let's see. Because I, I pinned it. You always raid and run, 20. It's, I, you're amazing for bringing your friends in, 20. You're amazing. You are a Lord S as well, 20. You have a fantastic day. 
Let's see. Um, uh, where was it posted? I think. Yeah, it was under resources in the Craftsman's Guild. Uh, way cool did a little walkthrough for the people to do to have you stream elements there momo um i i tried to do it but but i mean i did add i did add this I mean, that's as close we get right now. So I did that. I did that. That's what we got right now. But the whole whole video thing with the sound, I haven't figured all that out. Uh, I mean, I'm going to have to little, get a little work on that. But we have that. We're close there, Momo. We're so close. You know, it's that 57 mile marathon and we're at mile two. We're so close. We're so close. Only 55 more miles to go and we'll be there. Because that's a thing. Ask me and I'll tell you. It's what we do. I'm a pirate. You can trust me. But how is everyone doing? How is everyone doing on this fantabulous... Sunday afternoon, morning, evening, night, whatever time it is for you, wherever you might be in this wonderful world, how is everyone doing? Because I hope everyone is doing fantastic. I just realized I'm out of coffee. I haven't even done anything. We're 42 minutes in the stream. We've just been talking. We got a raid from 20. Oh my goodness. I'm I'm Am I turning into Letty? I think I'm turning into Letty. Today and tomorrow. That is awesome, Chuck. Embrace the Letty. We embrace the Letty. We do. Everyone embraces the Letty. And maybe some mild toiled cabbage. Who knows? Momo. I need something from you, Momo. I need you to DM me your, your gamer tag f since you play Apex on Switch now. I need you to send me your little gamer tag so at some point we can play together on the Apex. Well, you need to change it and make it awesome, like fantabulous, okay? I need you to do that. But you got to DM it to me. Unless you want to put it in chat and you want everyone to know. Yeah, Because we got to play together. Got to. Got to, got to, got to, got to, got to. Okay, I just realized I'm out of coffee. We haven't even done anything yet except jibber-jabber. But I need some more coffee to continue with the we're going to do the assembly yes 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 i need to get some more coffee i know i mean we're almost an hour in i haven't even done anything but we're going to be assembling the flip cart today we're going to start with the drawer oh my goodness i play let's see apex i play fortnite with my kids and I also play Fortnite with Crinks and DC, um, Apex with DC as well too. Um, and then I've been playing Borderlands 3 with DC. Um, I play Call of Duty, Cold War, um, and Sea of Thieves. Love Sea of Thieves. That's usually later in the evening till sometimes wee hours in the morning. I love Sea of Thieves. It's a pirate game! Who doesn't love pirate games? I love Sea of Thieves. But I'll be right back. I need coffee. And you can go ahead and add a potty break because I'm probably going to go use the potty while I'm in there. 
So I will be right back. Okay. Potty break. And it's, oh, my fat fingers hit enter before I was done. It's okay, Tink. We won't hold it against you. <laughs> really, Momo? Now, now you're going to make me do even more potty breaks by making a command to remind me to go potty? I mean, I do go through quite a bit of coffee and water while I'm out here. Even though it's not like super hot, but you got to stay hydrated. Yes, it is important to take appropriate potty breaks when you need to go. It is always important because it's not good to hold it in. You just got to ah, let it go. Not going to hold it back anymore. Let it go. That's how it goes, right? That's that's what that song's about, right? going potty, right? I'm right. I know I'm right. Ask Disney. They'll tell you. I'm right. Yee! Yes, I'm sure she is. The little pirate's in the house right now making her own soap. Well, you know, they are completely wrong about the pirates respecting others' property. That's just not what pirates do. It's, it's, it, it, no. It's, no. And that was hilarious when you put that in my little chat on the, the Discord. 
there, Momo. It was hilarious. Ha <laughs> ha hilarious. So, should we actually get some work done? Oh, somebody texted me. Who texted me? Uh, nobody important. Nobody important. Just T-Mobile telling me my bill's ready. But it's auto pay. <laughs> it's auto pay. It's funny now that, you know, most of the stuff, like your normal bills, like cell phone and stuff like that like well if you do automatic withdrawals from your bank account you get a discount it's like well why wouldn't i want to do that i wouldn't have to re i don't have to remember about it not like i have to remember about it. boss pirate does the bill paying she's much better with it than i am because if it was up to me i just buy tools all day long but yeah <laughs> you're gonna set up auto pay and you get a discount for having auto pay Psh And as Letty would say, safety glasses, you know, safety for the kids. It's for the kids. It's what we do. Let us assemble. And that's not the, the angle that we want for the kids. That's not the angle, the dangle we want. We want it a little bit over this way. Ugh. Let's move my little cord out of the way. We don't want to run it over because we need our USB cord. Otherwise, y'all wouldn't be able to see anything. Let's get this out of the way. And that's why it's on the wheels so we can move it. Woo -woo! Wheels. So here's our drawer. Yes, that's what we do. We slap it. We got drawers. We are going to do uh, some uh, pocket holes for the drawers to assemble some pocket holes with the Craig jig. All right. Because everything is awesome. Let's set up. Oh, it's already set up. Sure, it is correct. This is half inch, half inch plywood, half of the inch. And they make it so simple, you know, everything's right there. You just set it, tighten your little set screw, set your little thingy majigger there, clamp it, clamp it. Ugh. Half of human, thank you for the follow. Welcome to my workshop. How are you doing on this fantastic Sunday? Can y'all hear the alerts? Because I was having problems with those a while back. Meow, 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 meow. Well, thank you, Hyperhuman. I do as well. It is my... It is my... It's my jam. It's my side hobby. 
it's not what I do full time, but it's what I do on the weekends. Or if I get a chance, I'll do it uh, on the weekdays. But that's few and far between because my daytime job uh, doesn't give me the time to uh, do it so, uh, during the weekdays. Crushing death and grief. Oh, Soaked with blood Huzzah! of the trespassing thief. Huzzah, Emily! Raid! Huzzah, everyone! Welcome in, Raiders! Raid number two from the favored grain. Huzzah! Tryon, how are you doing? Welcome in, everyone. We... I don't think we're going to get anything done. We got raiders coming in everywhere. Hello. That is fantabulous. Favored, I'll tell you what, your little uh, diorama, uh, I hope I got it right, that you were working on. Your water was looking spectacular. Your paint job did not look like a small child did, did it, okay? I know it's the undercoat and you got other layers to do it. It did not look like a child painted it. I just want to make that clear, okay? It was looking fantastic. Because that was by far way better than anything I could ever do. Exactly. Well, huzzah to everyone, as the favored grain would say. Welcome in. I am... Obsessed pirate, we do woodworking. Most of the time, we're over here on the lathe doing some wood turning. But today is day two of, or well, part two of the uh, flip cart build. Um, if you don't know what a flip cart is, it is a cart that has two tools on it that flips. So, we are making one of these. Yeah, only the stew bowls. That's right, Momo. Oh, did the count, the count showed up at the end? Oh my goodness, favored. You were just, uh, you were just showing off. Yes, so my, uh, my spindle sander, and my new belt and disc sander is what's going to be going on that. So, yes, I got these plans. Maybe. Uh, from Fisher Shop. I paid, uh, he's a YouTuber, Fisher Shop, please. Uh, he's not, I'm not associated with him in any way, but I just enjoy his YouTube channel. And he has excellent plans in his shop. Um... Hey, T and Jen, how are you doing? But he has excellent content on YouTube. I did pay for these plans. Um, I had been on the lookout for a flip cart design for a while. I really liked his, so I purchased his plans, and that's what we're building. But uh, I would highly recommend his YouTube channel. It is amazing. He is a funny guy to watch. Uh, he, and at the end of his, all of his YouTube videos, he always has a little bit of a blooper reel from when he was doing his shooting, which is always fun to watch. But uh, please check him out. But I am not associated with him in any way whatsoever. I just enjoy his content. I really enjoy his content. Thank you for the follow. Dr. Koala Sciences, welcome to my workshop. Thank you for the follow. We are about to do some pocket holes. Howdy, 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 howdy. We are about to make some pocket holes. Let me get a scrap piece of half inch. Yes, mm -mm, pocket holes. Do I have a smaller piece? I just want to... Whenever I'm doing pocket holes, I always get a scrap piece first to test to make sure I'm not going too deep or not deep enough. Because even though the jig itself is super easy to set up, um, it's super easy to set up, sometimes you just got to tweak it a little bit 
to make sure you're not going too deep or not deep enough and you might have to adjust your little stop call it here on your uh, drill bit so i always like to have do a scrap piece first so that way you don't jack up your uh your main pieces when you're doing uh pocket holes so a slight little tip how i hope that helps with some people within future projects Ooh, I've never seen that little badge next to some people's Al All Access Pass 2019 Dr. Koala Sciences. I don't think I've ever seen that little badge next to somebody's name. Fancy, fancy. Yes, I mean, I, I, I learn something from everyone's stream every time. YouTube videos, streams, everything. I always learn that, learning something from somebody. Uh, Overwatch nerd. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. I do play my fair share of video games. Hey, you've played once, Momo. You're a master. Right there. You've, you've already mastered Apex. You played once. All right, let's do a little test. Testy test. and see how it looks. I think. I think that'll do. <laughs> well, when you have the controller, you kind of all thumbs anyway. <laughs> you are all thumbs. Well, huzzah, favorite grain. Thank you for bringing in all your friends on the raid. You go get some food. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And thank you, thank you for bringing in everyone on your raid. Thank you. So we are there. And we are probably going to use... I just want to double check and make sure that... It was a grain raid. You're always on time. A jack arrives precisely when he intends to. He's like a wizard. So what we'll do is do a test as well to make sure that we don't go all the way through, which I don't think we will. I just want to make sure I use the right size. For. But I think we should be good. I'm just going to double check. With my fancy dandy. Look. Mo 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 We're just gonna do a test here just to make sure that the pocket hole screw that I am using doesn't go all the way through and test it on some scrap wood some scrappy scrap 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 that's why whenever you're doing a project if you have little pieces like this that are some scrap of wood it's good to just hold on to it so you can do some little test pieces, right? So we're going to test to make sure that my little one inch screws here do not go and poke all the way through when we crank down on it. 
And I think we have a wiener. We didn't go all the way through, so we're good. Yay! So we're good on that. We can rock and roll with these pocket holes. Because that is, because uh, sometimes if you just start rocking and rolling on it, rocking and rolling, and then all of a sudden you realize some of your depths were not set up very well, and you're like, hmm, well, uh, that's not going to work. So we're going to put three pocket holes on each side. So it looks something like that. And we're also going to use glue as well when we assemble. And if you're ever looking for this little system, they you they have some sales quite often at like uh, Home Depot and Lowe's and whatnot, or even on Amazon where you can get this uh, this little jig here for a pretty decent price, so you don't have to like go overboard and spend a lot of money on it. But I'll tell you what, they are nice to have. Especially if you want to make like cabinets or whatnot. They hold together quite nicely. Especially when you use glue with it. Because uh, glue is stronger than the wood itself. Gives it a nice, good, uh, good joint. So that is how we're going to put her together. I mean, if you wanted to get really fancy with the drawer, you could do like a, 
some box joints or some dovetails or something like that. And then you could also do uh, a dado on the bottom to slide the uh, bottom of the drawer in. But this is just the bottom drawer for the flip cart. Not gonna have stuff that's in there super heavy. It's just gonna be like the accessories and like the hardware and stuff for like the uh, spindle sander and the belt and disc sander. So it doesn't need to hold a lot of weight. So you don't have to have something that's, you know, can hold an elephant or something. Pocket holes. There's no reason to be angry about pocket holes, Jack. Don't be jelly. What do you want to show me? Oh, my goodness. You're going to have a mustache. Uh, yeah, by hand can be, oh my goodness. So, uh, <laughs> I mustache you a question. <laughs> How is everyone today? I mustache you that. This is really uncomfortable because it goes up your nose. But I must ask you something. <laughs> that is good. But do you have a purple squiggly pipe cleaner mustache? It's not a pipe cleaner, Jack. It's all of <laughs> An entire stew bowl of sausage gravy. My dear lord, Jack. My dear lord. What are you doing, little pirate? Oh, you just came in to do the squiggly purple moustache? Yeah. Moustache? You need help. Where's your shirt? <laughs> you just use a straw for some st Oh, my dear Lord, Jack. You are a beast. What do you need? Um. What you need help with, buddy? Which one? The Lego rolls of the ring. Oh, you need help loading it? No, I need help. I can't start it. Start it. You got to put the disc in. I did. No, like, it's plastic. Oh, okay. Well, I know I just took a break, but my littlest of pirate needs me in the house. Oh, well, I mean, you got to start somewhere there, Dr. Koala, for a workshop. Yes. So my, my, my little pirate back there, he needs some help real Junior. quick in the house. Junior. My pirate junior back there needs some help with something in the house. So I got to take another break real quick. I know I just took a break. We only did like eight pocket holes, and then now I want to take another break. But he needs some assistance with something in the house. Yes. And... It is a must. It's like life or death is what he says, you know. So let me take one more little quick break, and I will be right back. Can I have headphones?
Yes, pocket holes are work intensive there, uh, Jack. Super intensive. But I mean, it, what, you know, the Pirate Jr. said it was a matter of life and death. He needed help starting uh, up Lego Lord of the Rings video game. Uh, super important, you know. He needed help starting it up. I, I understand his sense of urgency on uh, that matter. So, but crisis averted. We got him all started up on Lego Lord of the Rings, okay? Because he's uh, he has an Xbox One, but he has now gone back to where he wants to play the Xbox 360 and some of the older games. So he, uh, he's been starting playing some of the older games on the 360. Own, understandable teal obs is never kind teal i really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with us you have a fantastic evening and get your stuff set up i understand but once again i appreciate you being here you are awesome yeah, how many people do you have on right now Watch Boom. that's a lot of well, it doesn't matter about how many people we have watching. We're almost at 600. We've already reached 500. That's right. As long as we're having fun, it doesn't matter how many people we have in the stream. It is okay. It's not about numbers. What I'm going to do as well is get one of my multitude of speed squares. I just enjoy doing this and sharing everything. Yes. I mean, even even around these parts, the uh, content is questionable. I made a wand. I just want to make sure everything is square and lined up. Before I at least glue? clamp down the one side. Wait, you need glue? Yeah, we're going to glue it, too. Oh, I made a wand. You made a wand? That is amazing. What kind of wand is it? I don't know. You don't know? Okay, I have that one set to where it is. Should be a perfect. Let's put a little bit of a glue on here. I need to add a little bit more glue to said syrup bottle. Yes. Because I'll tell you what, uh, ketchup bottles, mustard bottles, syrup bottles are great little uh, containers to uh, keep glue when you buy it in bulk. That way, it's a little bit easier to handle when you squeeze out. Gets you a nice little nozzle, and it keeps the air tight, so you glue lasts longer. So if you do a lot of gluing, or even a little bit of gluing, it's worth buying one of the big jugs and then uh, refilling like a mustard or a ketchup or a syrup container. Oh, 
almost full. Looks like. Why does it look so gross? Father. What? Why does it look so gross? Well, it's just coming out. <laughs> there we go. Where shall we put the glue? There you go. Making well, thank you. Uh, I do not. I probably have one around here. Somewhere. But you don't know where it is. All right. My little helper over here. My little pirate helper. Taking care of us. Wands. You're gonna make some more wands. That's awesome. Crushing death and grief, soaked with blood of the trespassing thief. Welcome in. How are you doing? Oh. Welcome in, Wush. How did the cat pendant turn out? Put him right down there in that ledge. How did the cat pendant look out? If I have a mod, could you please, please give Ish a huge shout out? He does amazing CNC work. And, you know, there's some non-believers out there that say, oh, the machine does all the work. I appreciate the try, Mecca, but it's for the mods. I will do it, because please... Yes, there, yes, there's some, uh, there's a lot of non-believers like, oh, it's the CNC, it does all the work. No. Yes, we would love to see it, Ish, because the, the amount of talent and expertise that you need to put all the information in the computer to make the machine work is there's a lot there's a lot going into building those cad programs and making sure everything's right and ish is an absolute lord at the cnc and he does the he has a spindle for his cnc and does absolutely amazing stuff so please go check out ish yes they do momo absolutely you know a lot of the pieces do need a little bit of hand sanding and stuff like that um but for, you know, I, I, it kind of irks me when people are like, oh, it's a CNC, it does all the work. It does not do all the work. The amount of work that the person itself, like Ish, has to do to make it run right and look good, it, there's, there's a lot involved. So, uh, to the naysayers out there, Oh, wow, Ishwood. 
that is amazing. Ten would buy. That is amazing with the uh, the acrylic in there too, or the resin. That is spectacular work, Ish. Great job. That is amazing. That is spectacular. Yes, go check out Ish. I can tell it's a cat there, Ish. Yeah, first try. You, I mean, always refining everything. You got to refine it a little bit, and you know that's that's with uh, anything that anybody makes. You know, you try it, you get a prototype, and you're like, well, I need to do something to tweak it a little bit to make it a little bit better, and that's what you do. But that is an amazing first try, Ish. That was spectacular work. But yeah, so Ish, please go check him out. I believe uh, he's going to be having a giveaway soon on the 17th. <laughs> CNC polished. I believe on the 17th, he's having a giveaway of a, a wand that he did on his CNC, on his rotary access. So make sure you go over there, give him a follow, check him out. He does amazing work. Amazing work. Yes, that's right. Ooh, giveaway. Giveaway. I need to bring this. Actually, I think we'll use this one. Because since this is going to be a drawer, I want to make sure that we get everything square. It does have to be perfect. The tiny ones have to be perfect. Just doesn't wanna, I got that lined up pretty darn perfect. Let's get the bottom one in, then we'll flip that around and get the top done. I always get discombobulated. That's going to be right in the way of the hole. Whoa. Oh, that's pretty darn cool there, Ish. Amazing work. That is really cool. I like it. Once again, spectacular work, Ish.
amazing work ish. <laughs> well, you know, you got to start somewhere ish. It is okay. It is okay. Would you like a mini pirate sword? Sure. All right, I'll make you one. You're going to make me one. I like it. Like a charm on your mini sword? Well, who wouldn't want a charm on a pirate sword? I need you to stick it, but I don't have a lot. I have an orange cat paw. Uh, hat. Okay, here's all my charms. You can decide which one you want. Here are all your options. Um, let's go with that. Okay. Coming right up. Oh, okay. Well, that's not right. I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay. I need to move some stuff around. This thing is kicking my butt right now. It's kicking my butt. Because I want to make sure my coins are good to go. Maybe I'm just overthinking it a little bit. And I'll just go this route. Wait, do I want I want that on that side so you don't see it. I don't want to see it. Let's get a little bit of glue on there. You're back, but we missed you. You got a pretzel. Oh, a chocolate covered pretzel.
paper towel. I need the uh, paper towel to wipe up uh, the excess glue. So we got the top nice and square. Let's flip it and do the same thing for the this side. Boom. Boom shakalaka. Oh, you need my help with something. What do we got? I can like that? Yep, just like that. Thank you. All right. Okay, that's all she needed, everyone. That's all she needed. We kind of almost know what we're doing here, but don't quote me on that. And then once we get the bottom on here, it's really going to hopefully make it sit a little bit better. I don't make too many drawers, so... Don't hate me when this isn't... Uh, Looking, looking ex exactly perfect because I don't do too many drawers that often. So, But I'm sure with more practice, I could probably get slightly better at drawer making. So maybe that might be a, a future stream in the way, way distant future. Well, hello, blue, blue moon, blue, blue, blue moon. Hey. How are you doing, blue? The pirate sword's finished. Your, my pirate sword is finished. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I actually, and I did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lidar, how you doing? I got little pirate just made me a little miniature pirate sword with a little little crab lord pendant on it. How cute is that? Yeah, shock, 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 shock. Tink, 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 tink. I have two wands in my wad bin.
You're gonna make a rainbow sword. A glow in the dark sword. Ah, uh, that's even better than a rainbow sword. He has all the best ideas. So how are you doing, LiDAR and Blue, on this fantastic Sunday? Uh-oh, a wild boss pirate has entered the workshop. Just woke up. Well, I mean, it is Sunday, so I mean, I, I guess it's allowed to sleep in a little bit. Even Pirate Helper says she can't blame you. So. So I guess I guess you get a pass today, Lidar. You get a pass. On the sleeping end. A what? A mini boss or a boss? Um, both. Oh, the mini glow sticks gonna be a charm. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I appreciate that. Is it going to be the one ring to rule them all? Um, Lord of the Rings there, puppet. I know I'm weird. I have been confirmed that I am weird. Just so everyone knows. <laughs> Thank you, Ish. That is, that is so kind of you to say.
You are so kind to me, Ish. All right, tape measure. Let's check for square. As always, amazing. Oh, does my does my lathe need some bling? We're gonna put some speed squares in all the corners so we can make sure when we put the bottom on we are square. We are super square. Because I don't have any of the fancy little corner square pinky frinkles like some people have. So we will do it this way. Yes, daughter. It has a glow in the dark bling. Glow in the dark bling? Yes. Oh man, that's gonna be the coolest lathe. Clue. Glue? No. You sure? I'll glue your hands on it. You're gonna glue my hands on it. And good thing I have four bead squares for four corners. I think it was serendipitous. Um, I plead the fifth, LIDAR, I plead the fifth. But I mean, they have a home over there. So. Oh, wow. That really does glow in the dark ish. That is pretty rad. Very nice. So I know it's a cat because that's what you told us. But from this uh, picture right here, it almost looks like a wolf howling in the. Uh, at the moon, or like uh, in the dark, it almost looks like a, a wolf howling at the uh, at the moon or something like that from this angle. I know it's a cat, but it kind of kind of looks like a, a wolf howling. But still, amazing work, Ish. Amazing, I like it. I like it a lot. And uh, little pirate here has given you the. Little Pirate says it looks amazing as well. Uh, 
Oh, little pirate there says, uh, pirate helper says it looks like kind of like a mountain lion. Which is a cat. All right, let us check. It should be, should be perfectly square. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. It is a square box. What is the world coming to? I did something almost right. Well, I mean, the corners are square, but it is a rectangle drawer there-ish. Daughter. Oh, ish. Your trolliness has no bounds. Well, why don't you type in chat and ask her, you silly goose? Quality coffee. That is some quality coffee. Yes, I am not going to argue that one, Ish. I am not going to argue with that one one bit. Not even a little bit. Because it's 100% fact. But we wouldn't have you any other way. We would not have you any other way, Ish. Mother. Well, somewhere, I am slightly off. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Hmm. Okay. Oh. There's something, there's something-ish. <laughs> We're not gonna hold it against you-ish. That S English, you are correct. Check my. I'm going to check my drawer slides just to make sure I'm going to have clearance.
I'll be back. That's right, Mecca. I think we might be good. I think we might be good. Let's hope so. Otherwise, I got to rebuild the whole uh, drawer. But that's okay. We still have more than half a sheet of uh, of half inch plywood, so we could remake it if if I if I got off somewhere. We do. That we do. We have a lot of stolen words, and then we change what they really mean from their original origin. You got to love that Google Translate. I might a little went a little overboard with the glue, but nothing that won't clean up. Daughter, you're ready. Oh, look at that. They are ready. <laughs> uh, I hear you. I hear you. They're ready. It's super fancy. It's 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 uh it's patent pending. It's patent pending there, Jack. Patent pending. Two, one, line up and glue. Oh, line up and glue. Line up, line up. Oh, little pirate here is gonna show off the soap that she just made. Little pirate just made some soap inside the house. We have a roses and a three layered Lego man. Do you like them? Phew! Stream for epilepsy. How are you doing? Oh, everything is fantastic. Oh, she look see that's her that's her second batch that she's done. I am fantastic. I hope you're doing well as well. Sounded kinda redundant, but hey, that's the way the English words work.
That's her second batch that she has done of soap. She did some a little while ago, and I think it was waiting on some more supplies so she could do more. So we have all sorts of fancy little pirate homemade soaps around the house. What kind of nails do you need there, boss pirate? Regular ones. Well, let's see what kind of regular nails we have. Nail nails. The nail 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 nails. Nail. Do they need to be long, short? Why is normal? Ugh, that's asking a lot right there. Two nails. Mm -hmm. A nail is not a nail. Uh. How many do you need, Boss Pirate? Stew nails. I don't. I haven't got stew nails yet. You need a stew nail. How many? Okay, I'm sending her in to what I guess is a normal nail. Bring those into your maja. Oh, the Lego soap is for me? Yeah. That is amazing. Uh, I think she just ran away with it. She did, uh, she had a Lego man mold that she did. Uh, and uh, she had a little Lego man mold that she did. She did uh, some, uh, some flowers and whatnot a while ago just to see if how it would turn out and if she would enjoy doing it. And she did, so I think she had ordered some more supplies. Daughter! Oh my goodness. Smaller nails. They want to see the Lego man. Uh, It is rainbow. Uh, let's see. It is scented. Momo. Here, let me put it really close to the camera and sniff. Can you sniff it? Can you smell it? It is a coconut smell. Can you smell it? Let's, let's all smell together. Mm. 
Oh, coconut. Chevy, mowing is done. Well, then, if you're done mowing your lawn, can you come over and mow mine? I got a riding lawnmower. You're more than welcome to use it. I just need you to mow my lawn for me if you want to do that. Otherwise, I got to do it this evening, and Boss Pirate's going to help. No, well, I don't know if you'd want to eat soap-ish. That, uh, that's strange. Idea ever. Huh? I have the greatest idea ever. You have the greatest idea ever? Yes. What is your greatest idea ever? A mini pool. Mini pool. That's my You don't like my idea. I love it. I don't, I don't know, uh, Ooh, that's a great idea there, Chev, uh, Ish. Anything but lemon. That just was not tight enough for my liking. Make sure the other sides because you know you get the flattest of flat plywood from uh, uh, Home Depot, so. <laughs> to buy to buy what there ish oh the uh the plywood <laughs> well the uh plywood prices have gone down slightly just slightly in uh a little bit like the uh sheet of three quarter inch plywood i bought um at its peak was close to uh eighty dollars but this one had been dropped down the price has dropped down to around 67 bucks still more than it used to be oh well that's a good try so yeah mini stew bowl and uh so the prices are slowly going down. Not as much as I would like. For, uh, for projects. But. Now we, now we can 
We are getting there. We are slowly getting better prices. So, but this drawer, <laughs> no, she has, she has yet to make stew for the stew bowls. So this drawer is far from perfect. So I might, I don't know, we'll see what we get further in the build if I remake that drawer. We shall see. We shall see. All right, we have made the drawer. The next step in the instructions. Because we are actually following instructions now. Are you actually following? Yeah. is building the body. Of human? Yes, of the human. What do we got? Shelf, shelf, bottom. And we have the two sides. that we need to remove the double-sided tape that we used so we could cut both pieces at the same time and save some time. What you doing? I'm not gonna worry my pretty little face. A minister spoon. All right, let's get a better angle because we're not gonna do that. Well, are we? Should we do that up on the workbench? Let's clear some of this stuff off so we have a better work area. Clean as we go, i.e. we just move crap around 87 times. Eighty-seven million times. It's what we do. Dun 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 you shall live right there for right now. A mini stew spoon and a mini stew bowl. She's making all the stew related items today. Ha! All right. Where are my Jorgensen's clamps? I believe, yep. Boom. So these uh these Jorgets and clamps are not only good for holding stuff together, but they're also good when you're working 
by yourself to hold the stuff straight up and down. Like so. So if you just boom, clamp it right there, it holds it for you. So you don't have to worry about it. Boom, something like that. Let's get y'all a little bit. Oh, come on, there we go. Of a better angle on what's crack a lacking over here. And then that way, we're not sitting there trying to fumble with stuff. While it's like on the ground, all, all wonky. What we'll do is we'll glue, put a couple brad nails in it just to hold it. And then we're gonna countersink some screws straight into the bottom because this is the bottom of the cart right here so we shall get some glue going glue doing some gluing glue 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 Hey, DC, how are you doing? What's crack a lacking? Moo, moo, moo. Oh, no. Say it ain't so. Hey yo! You know, we 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 got off Borderlands, and you said you were going to bed in about uh, ten minutes or so. Because I do believe we can't quit playing Borderlands because you said you were going to go to bed.
Well, you know, every time we hit you up, Chevy, you, you're busy. You're like doing this work thing or something or, you know. Well, there's sometimes that you work at some extremely weird, weird hours. Just saying. All right, just to hold it. And we're going to countersink some screws. Countersinking time. It is always fun. Where's my box? There we go. Now do I want to use the... Yeah. Boom. Double checking the plans. Yeah, it is weird. <laughs> All night long. He's like, I want to play too. I want to play too. Uh, it's what I do. I am here to get songs stuck in people's heads. Borkity bork bork. Borkaroo, bork 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 borkaroo, borkaroo, borkaroo. <laughs> he is the best of the teddies. He is the best around, and no one's ever going to keep him down.
Now we do more. More. But if it is a robot, it's an evil robot to take over the world. Dun 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 dun. I don't know. It's whatever comes into my head. It doesn't have to make sense. Oh, so apparently now if I come with a random tune in my head, it has to make sense. According to Pirate Helper. <laughs> you right, DC. Hey daughter. Yeah. hey, daughter. Guess what? You're gonna sell soap. Yeah. What do you What do you think? We have a bunch of stinky people. No. I think that's what you're implying. No. Oh no. Oh, people can enjoy your soap. Hey, I took my monthly shower last night. Thank you very much. Hey, you take so you can just hush your mouth. <laughs> Aren't we all? Aren't we all? I don't know if I would uh, enjoy that as well. I'm like, huh? Huh? Okay, so it is saying. For so we have that. For face. The back. Hold on. So it's telling me to pocket hole this stuff in there, but honestly, I think. If I go from the outsides in and down and bottom and everything, I think that's going to be a little bit stronger than some pocket holes. That's what I am thinking. Pocket sand. Pocket sand. 
because this is the drawer face and it's the same size as the back. So if we go like that, I think we should be good. Draw myself a little line going all the way back and go from the sides and down and up. I think that'll add a little more strength to it. That's my thinking anyway. I'm a thinker and I'm a doer. Uh, I don't know. You got to ask her. What? They're asking when your next stream is. Okay. She says next weekend, maybe. That's what she says. It's totally up to her. It's her stream, her schedule. It's, it's whatever she wants. Uh, you have your own stream to be doing stuff on little girl so it's totally up to her it's her stream her schedule whenever she wants to do it Totally up to her. <laughs> uh, pretty much, Chevy. Pretty much. I've been caught. You have been caught trying to steal my little containers. Thief! Thief! That do for you? You need glue. What do you need glue for? She needs glue, everyone. Glue. I'm all out of glue. Mala, I told you. Glue. Oh, there's glue. Oh, I, I thought I was completely out of glue. You see, this is glue. Bob. Oh, that glue. I thought you were talking about a different glue. Uh, that you'd have to ask her. That one's up to her. My camera moved. That's what? That's something for Boss Pirate. And I honestly don't think that'll ever happen. She's a more of a behind the scenes type uh Well, hello, Alex. Open. All you gotta do is twist. Hey, don't get this on your fingers. Oh, they demand it. Oh, man. 
We demand it. <laughs> oh, see what you did, boss pirate? You have ruined Chevy's day. Uh, you don't want that. <laughs> what are y'all going to do when I go on deployment and there's going to be months, and I mean months, of no big pirate streams. You're gonna have to settle for more of the little pirate streams. Go back under your rock. Oh, well, I appreciate that, Alex. I appreciate that. Little tacky tack. Little tacky tack. Hold it in place. Now we're going to put some screws in. We're going to screw it all up. This is a flip cart. It's going to be a flip cart. Hold on. Let me show you a picture as soon as I get these, uh, screws in. I'll show you what it's going to look like. At least I hope it looks something like this when I get done.
gravity one on that one. So what it's gonna hopefully look like Whoa, is uh, a flip cart. It's, uh, you have two tools on one cart and the uh, whole thing flips. So the whole thing flips, so you have two tools on one cart. So it saves you some space. Hey, Clash, how you doing? Thank you for that. It's going pretty good. It, uh, so my spindle sander and my new belt disc sander is going to go on this uh, over in this area. So I got my spindle sander that's going to go on it and my new belt disc sander that's going to go on it. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this cabinet yet, but it'll free up some space over here. So those two are on one cart. That way I can put either my small or big bandsaw over here. And uh, so they're not just over here in the corner getting moved around all the time and whatnot. All the whatnot. Yeah, we'll go with that, Ish. I like the way you put that. I like it. I like your train of thought, Ish. But hopefully in the future, I have a better dust collection because I do have some hoses and some uh, blast gates and some connectors and stuff that I bought a little while ago. But I just haven't had time to run the... Uh, all that, uh, uh, all the lines and everything, and get all the setup. If I only had one of those, if I only had one, you know, like this little one sitting over here at my using CA glue on the top of my table saw. Yeah, I think because uh, this the plans had called for pocket holes on this, but I think going from the sides and the bottom are a lot better. I mean, as you can uh, tell from the amount of channel points it's going to cost you for me to sweep the shop, it shows you how much I enjoy it and how often I do it. I'm just looking at it. I'm the apprentice what cleans the shop. And the thing is, is... uh. So the table saw itself is on a dedicated dust collection. The dust collectors on the other side of that wall got a tube going through and it goes to the underside. So, I mean, there's that. So this will be the drawer face.
Yeah, so this, uh, yeah, I, I think this is going to hold a little bit better because it called for pocket holes on all this. So we're going to use the drawer face as a spacer while I, because this is the shelf that goes in it. It's got a good tight fit, which is always nice. I did not break anything. So. Hey, you, I, you never know. You never know. I mean, stranger things have happened. Of course, I should have charged my batteries overnight, but I did not. I gotta be switching. That's not good. <laughs> you do have a point. You do have a point. You do have a point. I keep going to that box. I want these screws. These are the screws that I would require. Man, that's some thunder. That's some heck of a thunder. I thought that was like a, a sound alert or something I didn't even know I had. Man, that oh, was some good thunder. Well, that was. Not ready yet. 
That's a crazy creation. The craziest of creations. I know, that big thunder was, I was like, what the heck? How big is that? 16. That's right. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. Okay. Boom! Not too shabby. So that's where the drawer will go, but we got the drawer over there finishing the, the gluing. The gluing. So we can set the drawer face to the side. And now we need the pieces for the flippity flip part, which we are gonna set this on the ground for that. All right, you better uh, you better do a clip because this is not going to happen too often. I'm actually sweeping something to make a, a flat surface. So this doesn't happen too often. It doesn't mean I'm picking it up. I'm just sweeping an area to put that cart on the ground. Shh. 
shock and awe. All the shock and awe. But I mean, it's just a very small portion. It was like the tiniest of tiny area just so I could put this on the ground. So, I mean... So we're going to be working on the flippity flip portion. Now, eventually this will be on wheels, but I don't want to put it on wheels yet because I don't want to be fiddle faddling with it while I'm doing this portion. And fiddle faddle is a very technical term, just so you know. Boom. He would have already installed the drawer, but we're not doing that quite yet. All right. The top. <laughs> One of your favoritists. A word. It is a word. If I can say it. It's a word. Okay. Rocket ship, but backwards. Look at that, dude. Editing. Doggy, poppycock, that's good, some good uh, stuff there. So, the inside of the flip top is going to look like something like this. So, we'll have the cords drill some holes through here to run through here with a power strip. The main uh, bar will go through there with a T-joint right here and whatnot. So we still have a couple holes to drill in these two pieces. That's amazing, little girl. All right, so a couple holes to drill right there for the pipe to go through. Uh, seven eighths it is turn on some light over here uh what 
is this? That's a number seven. That goes in there. our waste board underneath and we're gonna drill one one board drilled, mwah, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Drilled, mwah, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Looks about like some good spathing to me. Some good old spathing. Beep boop, beep boop, boop. I did not. I did not. That's crazy. How far, how far into space did they go? Is it just like right out of the atmosphere and come back or what? And how long of a duration of a space flight was that? Okay, bye. You gonna take your wand? Okay. Because that would be interesting to know. Hey, that's still pretty dang amazing. Pretty dang amazing. 
if I do say so myself. Which I did. Do, 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 do. So I think I'm going to flip and tack stuff with the brad nails that I just put away. I didn't know if I was going to use them. I want to tack stuff in place so it doesn't move on me while I sink some screws in. Because, you know, That makes sense. That's still crazy. Now, was that the... How much did these people pay to go able to go into the space flight? I'm sure it wasn't cheap. I'm sure it wasn't cheap at all. Oh, all employees. Hey, Vissy, how are you doing? Um, I'm probably going to screw something up here eventually because it's what I do. How are you doing, Vissy? Welcome in. How are you doing today? Because I inevitably, even if it's something I just kind of like shoot from the hip, I inevitably screw something up. <laughs> Noted, Alex. Noted. I uh, I appreciate the sage 
advice as always actually no i want to keep those on while i screw That's what I want to do. Because I want to make sure it's nice and toit. Toit like a toyga. Get that, get that glue squeeze out. And uno mas. Actually, no, four is probably good. That glue is going to hold it pretty darn well anyway. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Let's make sure I'm doing this right. I want to do it calls for these next Glue time. Everybody enjoys some high quality gluing. Oh, absolutely. I hear you on that. They do it on purpose. So you buy more.
what they do. It's all a ploy. All a ploy, I tell you. Especially like their little, uh, their little cutting wheels or whatnot. Those are the worst. Those really don't last very long. It's like, really? That's it? That's all you're going to give me? <laughs> uh, now they make a lot of uh, non Dremel brand bits that fit the Dremel that are far superior quality but the names of the brands escape me right now on what they are that that paper towel let's get a new one Because that's what normally when I do. If I have a project that I need to use a lot of uh, Dremel for or something like that. Uh, try Amazon. Amazon has a good selection of stuff. And you can also order off the Woodcraft website. I mean, if you spend a certain amount, they do 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 do. <laughs> I said do do. Uh, free shipping. They do, Alex. <laughs> You're right. 
you know, if you're on a time crunch, yes, absolutely, 30 minutes, it wouldn't get it there. I'll tell you one thing, though, for Harbor Freight, some of their quality of tools has gone up quite a bit uh, in the past few years. Um, I mean, I am not even opposed to getting some Harbor Freight stuff if it's something I need to use like maybe once and never again just for getting me through a project. Then, yes, I will go to Harbor Freight because I have one close. And uh, buy some Harbor Freight stuff. I am not opposed to that. I do not have a rockler close to me. I do have a woodcraft about five minutes away. So I have that going for me. So I can literally, so I can get out of my neighborhood and then <laughs> I get out of my neighborhood and then I pass a Home Depot and then I would pass uh, a Lowe's. And then right across the street would be Woodcraft. So there's that. But yes, we do not have a rockler, but we have a northern tool that does have a uh, rockler section. So that's pretty cool. They just added that. To our northern tool. And that's right across from Lowe's as well. They're not bad. Now, some of their stuff is uh, like some of their uh, power tools and stuff, the name brand stuff like DeWalt and stuff is a little overpriced. It's a little bit more expensive than going to uh, Lowe's and Home Depot. What reason for that? I don't know. But I have one of those extremely close to my house as well.
you, you're probably not wrong. You're probably not wrong on that as well. All right, Alex. Yeah, the doggos are important. Doggos are always important. They got a potty too. It's their potty and they'll pee if they want to. Pee if they want to. You know, people always forget that most of these uh, these quick clamps, if you undo one side, at least the good ones, you can use them going the opposite way. You can't find your dog. Do you have a dog? I guess that's the first question. Because if you don't have a dog, then that's probably why you can't find said dog. Or maybe he's just playing hide and seek and he's not telling you. He's like, yeah, hide and seek time. It's hide, hide, hide and seek time. That's a that's pretty good age for a doggo. That's uh that's a really good age for a doggo. I need my three-inch screws back. Did I put them away where they go? Or did I keep them over there? Nope, they're right there. Now, I believe I am done with this. 
Get this out of the way. I need a uh, much shorter. Hose reel thingamajig right here. And move that out to the main garage. Another thing to add to the list. Boom, 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 boom. Get these out of the way. And eventually, I need to do a different clamp storage. Because I got more clamps than I do spots on my wall here. So I need to uh, figure something out. Boom, ba boom. We have made a lot of progress today. Which is super awesome. I'm super, thanks for asking. Voila! So what he did to get access to stuff was put little magnets in the front of here, which I have not purchased yet. Which I probably will soon. So that we could have access to the uh, power strip. But I think I might have got these flippity flipped around. 
Let's double check. I did. So this one needs to be here, this one needs to be here. I got those flippy around. See, I knew at some point I would mess something up. But it's only a slight little oopy oop. And good thing, I mean, I didn't glue it, so it's not like it's going to be the end of the world as we know it. But I'm still fine. And we go swoopity swoop swoop a roo. And I'm just fine. Because the power strip will go here. And then the cords will go through here. And that way you can detach this and still get to the uh, power strip that's going to be inside. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. As Letty would say. Am I missing? Okay, I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Because sometimes my uh, my head so headset will unsync from my computer, and uh, I won't catch chat.
Boom. Almost like we know what we're doing. Almost. Okay. So now... Hey, it's okay. We like lurkers. I'm a lurker. I enjoy lurking. Ugh. So I have... These... Oh, look. There's my socket. I was looking for that. these casters that I had taken off that tool chest because that's sliding underneath over there to use so I didn't have to buy any which is awesome everything is awesome when you're part of a team kind of oversized for this project, but we are going with it because I have them. And why not use them if you have it? It's like repurposing. We like repurposing. Could this be the repurposing project? No, because it's not 50% repurposed that the Craftsman's Guild is putting on. And I can't say that just casters are 50% of the project. Because I definitely did not repurpose this plywood and 2x4s. Now, I did repurpose the 2x4s because they were purchased from a different project. And I bought extra, so they were kind of left over and repurposed for another project. I think I'm stretching here, though. I'm stretching. I'm reaching. So what we're gonna do is bring this camera back a little bit. Bring it up. And do a little flippy flip. We're going to do some casters. Now, they're not all four swivels, which I would rather have had all four swivels, but we are going to work with what we have. How far in do we want to go? I think two inches. Two sounds good.
It's a nice, nice, good number. <laughs> I like that train of thought, Clash. I do enjoy that train of thought. Because I cannot argue with that logic. Oh, uh, you know, I had to take out a second mortgage on the house to buy it all. Just so you know. It was a it was a it was a hard sell to the wife. I was like, I really want to make this, but you know, it's gonna be, you know, a second mortgage on the house. So it took some convincing to buy the uh, the plywood. Really? <laughs> uh. Yes, there's always that. The Harbor Freight metal carts are not too shabby. Hey, I can't be mad at Harbor Freight either because they're, like I said a little while ago, their quality of tools has gone up quite a bit in the past, past few years. So, I mean, the past few years, Harbor Freight's quality of tools has gone up dramatically. So I got to give them a BZ for that.
Yes. Yeah, especially Jack. So I had gotten these for, I think uh, somebody gave me these, right? These are the Harbor Freight clamps, right? And you see in the middle that it's all hollow, right? Well, I've seen where people will rip down a chunk of uh, uh, wood, insert it into the, uh, the groove, and it substantially increases the uh, uh, strength of said clamp. So I've seen people do that. Okay. I mean, I do have quite a few Bessie clamps that when they go on clearance at uh, Home Depot during the holidays and stuff, I will buy Bessie clamps when they go on clearance. They are. They, I mean, yes, they are pricey, but when they do go on a sale during the holidays, especially Black Friday at Home Depot, and you get a four pack for like 20 bucks, I mean, it's kind of hard to say no to that. Come on, come on. <laughs> Some people just want to watch the world burn there, Jack, and I think you're one of them. You know you want to go in the hole. <laughs> uh, 
I wouldn't doubt it for a minute, Jack. Wouldn't doubt it for a minute. You want to go in your home? Are you too good for your home? There you go. There you go. Whoop. We missed you, Chevy. I will take four rotating casters any day. I will take four rotating shafters all the time. What are the garden? Yeah, four. Yeah. For uh, four, four rotating any day, it gives you because like this right here, this here. Let me uh, let me switch to the big camera. So this is on four, right? Boom! I can go. Woof! I don't have to worry about just depending on one side to kind of scoot it around, back it up, go back and forth. These I already had, because I took them off this little tool chest over here. So I'm just gonna repurpose them. But any day, I will take four rotating casters over the two any day. see i mean i gotta like i can't i mean if i wanted to i could slide it but i mean i gotta like wiggle it around to get it going where i need to go but once we get some weight on it it'll be a different story and y'all can't even see what i'm doing because i'm on the big camera uh Those are my initials, Jack. DHH, those are my initials. But yeah, so I mean, it moves. You got the two casters, only one side's gonna move, so you gotta depend on it to wiggle it around and get it to where it needs to go. If it was on all four swivels, I wouldn't have to worry about it. Yep, so when I do my initials, that's how I actually, uh, I actually write it, you know, the D and then uh, the two H's, that's how I do my initials if I'm signing something that needs my initials. So I, uh, a good buddy of mine, he's a pretty darn good artist. And I told him, hey, these are my initials. I want something 
uh, for my woodworking and then below a hand making it because you know I did lots of Google searches to make sure that nobody was using it if it wasn't trademarked or anything like that because you know I don't want to be trademark infringement. Damn it, Clash! Why are you telling everyone? Oh my goodness, you got it right in the first try. Claps and chat for Clash. Got it right the first time. But that'd be pretty badass. Horatio Hornbuckle. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, let's say, uh, Daniel, you got the D right. Horatio. You got the H right. Uh, oh, sweet lord. Uh, boss pirate. Now, her hornbuckle, you did get the first three letters right. H O R. You got you got the three first letters right there, Clash. Yeah, boss pirate's got me. She thinks she's got jokes. <laughs> uh. Oh my goodness. Boss pirates having way Boss pirates having way too much fun with this. Uh. Now, Chevy, you of anybody should probably know my real name because you've gotten some mail from me pre uh, having uh, my uh, fancy mailing labels and stuff. So if anybody knows my real name, it's you, Chevy, because uh, you've received mail from me before I uh, had my fancy mailing labels, so. And I also know your real name, Chevy. Guy. He probably is, Jack. I wouldn't doubt it. Oh. I'm always watching you. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> right, Jack? That is will boggle our minds forever. Clash, <laughs> you'll never guess it. You're right. You're right, Alex. We'll never guess it. It it will go down. You will go down in infamy as no one ever knowing your real name, ever, ever. So I mean, we got quite a bit done. We got the the main carcass over here done, right? So we got the main carcass done. We got part of the actual flip itself. You know, it's gonna be a little bit of tight fit, which is okay. Done. And this is the flippy part, right? I'm okay with it being tight. We'll put a little paste wax in there. It'll, it'll be fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. So we got that part. There'll be some uh, pipe to go through there, uh, power strip, um, and all that stuff. And then we'll work on a drawer, but the drawer is, still has clamps on it. 
Uh, so that'll be nice. We have the, the box is still, the drawer is still gluing up, which I'm thinking we might have to remake the drawer because I think I, I oofed on the drawer. But actually, I think it might be dry enough to take the clamps off. And we can take a quick little test drive and see if I do have to make the uh, drawer over again. Because I do have enough of that half inch to do that. So these are actually Bessie clamps right here, which you get two of these and two of the little bit longer ones sometimes on sales at Home Depot during Black Friday. And I like to buy them, you know, because like any woodworker, you can never have too many clamps. And the woodworker that ha says they have too many, well, are they really a woodworker? Because believe it or not, I have done projects where I have used every single one of my clamps and still needed some. So, I have used every single one of these before on a project and still needed some. <laughs> well, he has the money to be able to do that. But I do like my, I do like my Jimmy DeResta. All right. Let's, let's see if I oofed. All right, so let's see if our drawer slides fit. There's one drawer slide. Here is the other drawer slide. And we are off. So somewhere, I don't know how to measure. Or I cut something a little bit too long. Hey, baseball gopher, how you doing? How are you doing, young man? Y'all go check out this young man doing amazing things. He's a new, uh, new to the community. Please go check him out. That young man is an absolute lord on the lathe. His pens are spectacular. So please go over there, check him out. Check him out. He's doing amazing things. He's new to the makers and crafters community. But please go check him out. So it looks like we, well, we, I might be able to reuse this drawer. I just have to shave some stuff down on the side. So we might, might, might still be able to use this drawer. This is Fisher's shop. Yes, Fisher's shop. I love his YouTube. Love it. Go check him out. Not associated with him. 
I just really enjoy his YouTube videos and he has amazing woodworking plans. Granted, you pay for them, but you know he designs it and comes up with it. You have to pay people for their intellectual property, which is awesome. Um, because everybody knows Uh, because everybody already knows you're an absolute lord of the leather, Chevy guy. It is a fact among, amongst the makers and crafters community. You know, you are a lord of the leather. We already know this. It's a fact. It's, it's like you go to the makers and crafters community, you're right at the top saying lord of leather. But do you know? We all know, know, know what, uh, you probably got some joke coming in. Uh, he's good too, he's good, he's good. Yeah, see, he already even knows. Right? He's the best around. No one's ever going to keep him down. Okay, so it is about that time for raid time. Raid! I knew you were going to do that. Oof, oof, oof. Let's see who is live. Bye, 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 bye. Live, 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 live. Let's see. What are people doing? We got so many people to choose from. Let us see. Ba bum ba bum ba bum. It's all good, baseball. It's all good. People have lives. You never know when you're gonna get out there and uh, be able to watch somebody. I'm a huge lurker, so I mean. I don't, uh, I don't watch as many streams and interact as much as I would like to, but I do a lot of lurking. So, and there's a lot of people doing Lego builds. Maybe I should do a Lego build stream. I have a lot of Legos. I'm a huge Lego collector. I have quite a few Legos. I, I have like, I have a closet up top of my closet. I have tons of them I still have to put together. But the thing is, I, I'm running out of space to display them in my area that Boss Pirate has deemed, uh... <laughs> Chevy, you're not going to let that one down right there. I see. So we have Pixie. Pixie is on. So we have Pixie, Teal, we have Aether Wolf, we have qu quite a few to choose from. So let's take a little. I'm going to write. I don't know who that is. Let me take a gander of who that is. You probably will write.
let's oh man what is You got it. You vote for Teal Crafting. Okay. I'm always looking deep into your eyes. Okay. Oh, Jack, it's just, I'm, I'm just expecting more toe picks. That's what it is, Jack. So we vote for Teal. So Teal is doing, uh, he's talking about leatherworking, uh, kitchen knives, and uh, sharpening. Blue making? Who's blue making? What are we talking about? You're 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 a jack wagon there, Chevy. So Teal's talking about uh, leather stuff. He's doing the just chatting, but we have the suggestion from yes, Chevy. It did fly past my head. I've never. Uh, but uh, Alex's suggestion of Averin CA, he is doing woodworking. Uh, I do not follow him. Uh, I've never raided him. And he only has five people. So he's doing some milling of some blood wood and working on a dining table, which is awesome. Uh, so let's, you know what, let's go ahead. And Riches is actually over there watching him. So let's go over there and go to Averin CA. It's always fun to raid a new person, check out a new maker and crafter that you might not already follow or know of. So Alex, I appreciate the suggestion on that. So let's go over to Averin CA. I hope he allows raids. So we are going over there. <laughs> Is newly affiliate. All right. A variant. Okay. But I appreciate everyone being here. Uh, it's kind of stinky that we didn't finish the flip cart today, but we did make some good progress. I appreciate everyone being here, hanging out with me. I know we had a lot of lurkers, but lurkers are fantastic. We appreciate lurkers. But I will see you next weekend on my normal weekend streams. I highly doubt I'll get something during the weekday, but you never know. You never know. So let's go over to Avarian, give him a pirate raid, and y'all have a fantastic Sunday evening, and I will see y'all when I see y'all. Bye-bye.